Recently, the cyclical nature of the individual life and the grander societal cycles have gained traction in the collective for good reason. Uh, we're headed for hard times. So people start like paying attention to stuff like this. We got the hero's journey, which is the individual's cyclical nature or the cyclical pattern archetype that happens in our life. There are seasons in your life. There's, there's, there's no question about it. There's seasons in a man's life. And so I did one of my more popular videos back in like 2013 was about the hero's journey. You know, I was kind of leading the way there in many regards by bringing this up. Now it's sort of a common concept for people to talk about, but you know, there's a, there comes a time in a man's life when he's called to leave his home, leave what's comfortable, no longer uh, be what he once was, take the call to adventure, and then he goes through a road of trials, right? We're gonna talk about that road of trials, we're gonna talk about where you might be, I'm gonna give you some context to get an idea of where you might be on that road of trials or that metamorphosis, which is next, there's a, a, ch a change that happens in men as, uh, as you make this, journey around the clock right and it's spiraling right i always this is this was one of my most popular memes in my videos i would do this right elliot hulse life does this it doesn't do this it spirals right and so where you where are you on that spiral are you at the, at the end or you're at the beginning yeah right so these are all things to consider uh, given the topic of the conversation today. And then, of course, the masculinity cycle. I don't know if that's exactly what you call it, but it's, a, it's an archetype. We see it all throughout history. All you got to do is look at the Old Testament in the Bible, and it's like, oh, we're at, starts with Adam. Hey, I'm in a garden. Oh, I was kicked out. Hey, things are going good. Oh, no. Hey, we're flourishing. Oh, now we're in prison. Right? And the whole thing, it's just this. Right? So you got to prepare for it. You can't be upset about it, but you got to be aware of it. Right? You need a map. And so today is a lot about the map. Right? Where are we? Big part of what we're going to be talking about today is where are we? You know, for the most part, people don't know. We don't know where we're at. And so we're going to talk about that. So. This pattern that I'm talking about here is not just uh, the human experience, right? For the individual or collective, we see it everywhere in nature. From the grand patterns in nature, the daily rhythms, the celestial rhythms, uh, the grand cosmic patterns, right? If you, if you, if you kind of kept a camera outside and just looked at you like one tree, like you see at the bottom of the screen there, that tree, it literally looks like the tree's doing this. Like, you know, if it just, if the camera was there for like, you know, five years, it would just do this. Two, three, right? Leaves, it's, it's bubbling, it's dying. It's proliferating, it's degenerating, right? It's generating, it's degenerating, right? It's just, it is what it is. And it's true and it's evident and it's beautiful because it gives us a map. It gives us context to know where we are and what we could do about it. Yeah, uh, you know, if you're if you don't know any better and you see all the tree leaves falling off the trees and all the fruits rotting on the ground, you're gonna be like, oh my god, no, we're all gonna die. Now realizing, hey, dude, chill out. A couple months, it's all gonna come back. Uh, so it goes from those grand cycles, right, grand cosmic cycles, down to the biological patterns that keep us alive. Everything pulsates. Everything pulsates. Right. Every breath you take, is just like that tree, is breathing. Right. Inhalation, exhalation, right? I know I'm getting kind of rudimentary here. Systol, diastol, right? Everything in life is doing this, right? And that's indicative of the cyclical pattern of things. And I'm fascinated with this because without this knowledge, we become so fixated on certain uh, happenings, right? Like in the news, like what's happening right now in the news, what's happening right now. And everybody gets all uh, attached to it, not realizing, well, dude, it's, it's going to come and it's going to go. Chill.